Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, just what do you made of the, just the opportunity here in front of you with this new team? Well, I'm just thankful for the opportunity, first and foremost. I'm just thankful. Um, I came here to work out with these guys right before training camp, and it was a great, great gym. I had fun. Um, I really wanted to come here and play from the beginning, but it didn't work out. So, um, God's timing, as I say, my family is safe. Uh, so, I'm thankful for the opportunity ahead. I'm eager to build with these guys and um, grow with them um, through good and bad. So, I'm here. Any, any reason why that didn't click right away for them? In, term, in terms of the training camp? And the I can't really, uh, I, don't, I can't say why I didn't, but um, I thought I had a good week here. Um, I had a great, I was connected with the guys in a great way, uh, especially the younger guys flashed on to me. Especially Isaac still texted me when I was away. So it was like, you know, I felt like I did my job in the sense of just being a veteran. When I came in the gym, I tried to get my, play the play the right way and get myself a chance to be on this team. So I really wanted to grow with them. Um, I respected how they, uh, things just going steady and, and, and going up in the, in the rankings each and every year, been building, and I, and I respect that, you know, and I want to be a part of it at the end of the day. I felt like my situation in Milwaukee was was done, and I just wanted to move on, and I thought it was going to be here, but it didn't, but now it is here, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. You've experienced just about everything there is to experience in this league. I mean, for people who don't know, how difficult is it to step into a new situation and hit the ground running right away? It's very difficult, but at the same time, that's when you got to depend on hoping and hoping, hoping your teammates are welcoming, first and foremost, and helping you um, feel acclimated, get acclimated with everything. And the coaching staff got to be, uh, has been great with me and helping me get acclimated. So it, it's a lot that comes with it on me, uh, but at the same time, it's a lot that the organization that you go into to help you uh, get the ball rolling in the right direction. So it's been great. It's been great so far. What's that part been like with the players in terms of being welcomed and getting acclimated? Well, they want me to start talking right away, and I'm trying to fill them out first before I just give them the whole dosage of me, but they want me. They want me to, my voice, and want my presence, so I'm just trying to give it to them and st still trying to learn each and every player, still trying to learn the playbook, still trying to learn coaches, you know, just, just still trying to learn, but I just want to still be myself, and that's, I'm a leader, a naturally born leader, and I, I love to win. I do whatever it takes to win. I'm not a selfish player. I, I'm, I'm a team first player, so um, I do anything to help my team win, and that's the message I want to rip off to the guys. I'm here to win. Uh, I don't. I have no agenda besides winning. When you were away from the game, like how, how much did you pay attention to this team specifically? What's crazy was, God is my witness. I watched the past two games before I got the call. Uh, the OKC game was the last one I watched of the, of the team, and I got a call the next morning. So I watched the OKC game, and I and, I, and just randomly, I was, I was up late. You know, I was on the East Coast. They were. 10 o'clock Eastern uh, tip, and I was up watching the game, and I, and I watched the game. I saw Trey go down with the calf. I thought it was ankle. Um, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't expect a phone call. Honestly, I was just watching it as a fan. Um, but it's just the way guys work, you know. I just got the call the next one. I'm like, it's no way that just happened. And I just watched these guys play the last two games, and it just, I just got the call to come join the team. So I did a little. I was watching them, and it just worked out in my favor. So. You said watching as a fan, but do you ever were you watching and going, here's how I can envision myself? Of course, uh, you do that with every. Me being on the outside looking in, I was doing that to every team, not, not just this team. If I'm being honest, I was doing it for a lot of different reasons. I just want to see if I if I did get a call for a team, I want to get, I want to see where I fit. You know, just just have a grasp of how they're playing, playing style. Seeing each, I watch pretty much pretty much each team play at least once, just to see just the playing style of each team. And if I get that call, how how that the style of play can contribute to me and how I contribute to that style of play. So I just watch as a fan and watch as a, a, a guy who's trying to be prepared when the, when this number is called. How tough yeah. was that? Two more times. Yeah. You, know, you got to experience that inspirational win against Minnesota, and then you get to feel the lows. So yep. The next one, yep. you know, they say you want, they want you to use your voice right away. Anything specifically that you said after that? Well, I just told them, well, we can't expect to win a road game with 20 turnovers. That's just, that's the real life. Um, that was on us. It's not a coaching thing, that's a player thing, you know? That's on us uh, to, to police ourselves, police one another and help one another on the court. Um, and I think that was my message before the coaches came in last night to talk to us after the loss. It was just like, guys, don't get it twisted. This is on us. I hope you, I hope you, I hope we know that this is on us as players. Uh, to just give ourselves a chance to win on the road, you can't turn the ball over 20 times. It's unacceptable. You know? That was my only message, honestly. How tough was it waiting, like mentally, for that call? Because, I mean, you're a guy that obviously you're watching, you've been around a long time. 
how tough, I mean, you're obviously have to be physically ready, but mentally too. Like, what, what was that process I had some like? Ups and downs. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I, because you can look at it like financially. You know, I played 13 years, so I've made a lot of money. It's beyond that. It's my love for the game. It hasn't wavered. It never wavered. You know, even though I, I was frustrated, my my love for basketball never wavered. So that's what kept me going to the gym. That's what kept me keep working out. That's what kept me trying to do my conditioning. Just my love never wavered. And I think that's when you retire, when your love for the game is not there. That's when you let the game go. You know, and I, I didn't have that. I, I tried to, I sat back when I didn't get the uh, training camp. I didn't get to come here for training camp. I sat back and I just took a week. I took a week of nothing. I didn't, I didn't touch the basketball. I did some yoga <laughs> with, with my fiance. I did some yoga, some little lights and stuff. And I just, reset mentally a little bit and I think it was an adjustment for me because I felt like physically I, I know I could play in the NBA. I felt like I was getting pushed out and for whatever reason I just felt like my time was not up and I think that's what kept me going and I just kept me engaged with, uh, with, the whole, with, the whole, with all teams. Like I said, I watch every team play at least once since I've been seeing that home. Do you come into this situation looking at like, I mean it obviously comes in a time where they're kind of going through some identity things on their end. How, I know winning can cure all. How do you feel like you guys can turn this around? Collectively, first of all, I think I think we all have to give a little more um, in the sense of just uh, giving to your teammates, whether it be your voice, whether it be your preparation. I think we have to give a little more uh, to get more out of it, you know? I think that's the saying that I've always carried with myself. Like when I go through tough times, I gotta give a little more to get something good positive to come out of it. And I think that's what we're going through. Um, we're not gonna win every game, you know what I'm saying? But we can learn from last night. We can learn from losses. Uh, we can give a little more and try to come out on the other end more time, more time than not. Thanks, everybody.